I'm Prajita Shrivastava from WDF University. Whether you are raising a large flock of chickens or only a few, keeping your birds happy and healthy is always a priority in raising them. Today, I'll share with you some of the ways to prevent the most common chicken diseases. To better understand the poultry diseases, it's important to first understand the types of diseases. Each type of disease has its own causes and set of issues. Firstly, let's talk about behavioral diseases. If your birds are acting aggressive, pecking other birds, or excessively plucking feathers, this could be a sign of behavioral health problem. Overly stressed birds may begin eating eggs or revert to cannibalism under certain living conditions. To stop problems before they start, make sure your flock has adequate nutrition, isn't overheating or overcrowding. Second, metabolic or nutritional diseases. Chickens that are living in an unhealthy environment are more susceptible to metabolic and nutritional diseases. Birds can become lame, have soft bones and beaks or have a reduction in egg production if they are not receiving proper nutrition and exercise. Most of these diseases can be easily remedied with proper care of your birds. But sometimes these symptoms can become a factor of other underlying diseases. Third, infectious diseases. Infectious poultry diseases can be viral, bacterial or fungal and tend to be the most common. Since they easily spread from bird, infectious diseases can affect your birds, intestinal, nervous, respiratory, immune or reproductive systems, as well as their skin. If any of your birds show signs of an infectious poultry disease, it's important to isolate the incident as much as possible and treat your birds quickly to product to protect your flock. Next, parasitic diseases. Parasites can live on or in your bird and are often contracted by a contact with other infected birds or particular living conditions. A few types of common parasites are ticks, mites, lice, fleas or roundworms. Most of the time you can see the parasites of their symptoms via feather damage, irritation, or even in the faces of your birds. Doing monthly checks of your birds and keeping your chicken's enclosures clean should help avoid any parasitic poultry diseases. Most common diseases in chickens are Fowl pox. Symptoms Fowl pox can come in two forms wet or dry. In the dry form, unfeathered areas of your bird will have wart-like lesions that heal in about two weeks. The wet form of the disease features lesions appearing around the mouth and discharge from your bird's eyes. Now how to treat it? There is no treatment for foul pox, but it will typically go away after a few weeks on its own. We suggest giving any sick chickens a little extra care to make sure they're as comfortable as possible. How can we prevent it? There are special vaccines designed to prevent foul pox in most birds. But if any birds show signs of infection, make sure to quarantine them. Also make sure you control mosquitoes in your chicken enclosures since they are able to transmit the diseases from flock to flock. Infectious bronchitis. What are the symptoms of this disease? Just like humans, your chickens can get cold and it's just as contagious. If your flock becomes infected, 
you will notice that egg production will drop. The consumption of food and water will decline. There may be a discharge from the bird's eyes and nostrils. And you may notice labored breathing from your birds. How to treat it? Unfortunately, there's not much that can be done for bronchitis. You can give your birds antibiotics for a few days to make sure no other infections happen while they are sick. But otherwise, you just have to wait it out. How to prevent? Like foul pox, there are few types of preventative vaccinations against infectious bronchitis. But it's not a guarantee. Having a good biosecurity method in place as well as adequate rodent control should help keep the disease to a minimum. Marix disease. Symptoms. This disease, also referred to as found paralysis, typically affects chickens between 12 and 25 weeks old. If your chick has developed tumors, has irregularly shaped pupils, typically results in blindness, or develops partial paralysis, it's likely that they have Marix disease. How to treat? Since this poultry disease is a form of avian cancer, there is unfortunately not much that can be done for infected chicks. It is also contagious since it is a virus and is transmitted when a chicken breathes in feather dander from another infected bird. If the bird survives, it will remain a carrier of the disease for life. So it's best to remove it from the flock early. How to prevent? While this disease sounds scary, there are vaccines available. Newly hatched birds can be vaccinated for Marek's disease to help reduce the likelihood of infection. Newcastle disease. As a respiratory disease, symptoms of Newcastle disease tend to appear through breathing difficulties, nasal discharge, murky eyes, and a reduction in egg laying. Sometimes, birds can experience twisting in their neck and paralysis in their legs and wings. There are varying strains of this poultry disease some of which are more lethal than others. How can we treat it? Birds will typically recover from it and not be carriers. But if your chicks develop the disease, they will likely not survive. As with other diseases, you can give your birds antibiotics for a few days to avoid any other bacterial infections. How to prevent it? Since the disease is carried by wild birds, keeping your flock vaccinated is very important. It is also recommended to practice good sanitation since a person can infect other birds by a clothing or shoes. Next, porchidiosis. Symptoms. When your chicken has loose droppings, it is likely they have porchidiosis a parasite that damages the gut wall of chickens. In addition to loose droppings, you may also notice bloody or watery diarrhea, weight loss and ruffled feathers in your chickens. How to treat it? Since there are six species of Imeria, that is the cochidiosis parasite, your bird may become immune to one kind but contract another. You can treat this with antibiotics or other specific types of medication that will get rid of the parasite. How to prevent? Keeping food areas, brooders and coops clean and dry will help avoid the spread of cochidiosis. Using medicated starter feed for your unvaccinated chicks or adding probiotic supplements to their food is another way to help 
control this poultry disease. In the end, I would like to tell you that proper upkeep and regular watch of chickens will help you better profit. Thank you.